salute to hoops guys welcome back another day another video we got the laptop out you already know what that means we're going to talk about doing a little bit of investing here <sighs> hope everyone's enjoying the playoffs it's been uh eventful so far uh especially tonight's game which kind of inspired me to make this video um, but it was coming regardless so um, I also hope that everyone's able to get a hold of some Chronicles, whether it's retail or resell. Uh, I know we all enjoy ripping packs, so that's why I'm not doing a, a card ripping video today. I'll let you guys enjoy the new product. Uh, we haven't had one out in a while. Uh, so if you're able to get a hold of some Chronicles, go ahead and rip it. Have fun. It's always a good time. I will say that I do miss Mosaic, but... Life goes on, I guess, right? So before we get into this, uh, go ahead and like and subscribe, guys. Sub subscriber count is going up, I see, which is nice to see. It keeps me inspired. Hope you guys enjoy watching the videos as much as I, I enjoy making them. So really fun to me. If you guys don't already know, we're going to get into it. We're talking about this man right here, Christophs Porzingis. In a second, we're going to be able to see... How good my editing skills are um, but we're gonna keep it in this view right now just for the time being so uh Christoph Porzingis if you don't know him for whatever reason or you've been living under a rock a uh, place for the Dallas Mavericks uh, I don't know if he can be called an up-and-coming star because he's pretty much here uh, and he's here to stay so uh, quick quick stat recap for him so far for the season, he's averaging 20.4 points per game in the bubble, 9.5 rebounds, 35.2% from the three-point, and 42% from the field. Now, his numbers are slightly down from last year in New York. He was averaging 27 points, 20, sorry, 22.7 points per game. Three-point percentage was 39%, and his field goal was 43%. So a little dip there, but I'm not too concerned about it. And the main reason why I'm not too concerned about it and the main reason why I'm investing in Kristaps, namely the second-year cards that we have right here. We got some Prism. We got some Optic rated. Sorry, not rated. just Optic second-years. And... Some Donruss second years as well. Uh, the main reason why is because he's playing with uh, Luka Doncic. Now, if you haven't seen these two guys play before, they are a dynamic duo. Uh, they're both young guys. Kristaps Porzingis just turned 25 earlier this month. And Luka Doncic just turned, I think, 21. I think it was like maybe two months ago. So uh, they play extremely well together. Christoph Porzingis, as we all know, is like seven foot three. He's literally the the new big man of the NBA, as far as what big men do now. So he puts the ball on the floor, shoots, uh, rebounds too, uh, nine and a half, almost ten rebounds a game. So uh, does a little bit of everything, and I really believe that him and Luka Doncic are going to be kind of a a dynamic duo for for a long time to come. Uh, that being said, that's also another reason why I'm investing in him is because him and Luca they just complement each other so well on the basketball court. And I really think that we're going to be seeing, if not this year, then in the near future, um, the Dallas Mavericks really competing for an NBA championship so long as those two stick together. Now, the we're going to go over the cards that I purchased. I showed you guys uh, just them a second ago. So we got uh, a couple Prism base cards of his, Donruss Optics, and then just the regular Donruss bases that you can find in the 16, 17. Uh, I'm guessing like hanger packs and blasters and stuff like that, just like anything else. So I purchased these as a lot. Uh, for a total of uh, sixteen dollars seventy-five cents, uh, which turns out to be a dollar fifty for each optic card, and a little over a dollar for each of the prism cards. 
Now these guys right here, there's actually a stack of them, as you can see. So this is actually, oops, I don't want to drop them. This is actually a hundred Kristaps Porzingis second year cards here that I purchased on eBay uh, probably about a month ago or so now. So there's a hundred total here that I purchased the entire hundred for a total of $25. So if you do the math, it comes out to about 40 cents per card. Now, let's get into the computer here. Let's test my editing skills, and we'll do that right about now. All right, guys, and we are inside of the computer. Let's hope I can get us out of here. Um, so the first thing that I really want to point out is this right here, which is kind of staggering, to say the least. Uh, we have a 15-16 NBA Complete. That's right. I said an NBA Complete. Kristaps Porzingis, I believe, uh, by the looks of this, it appears to be like the silver, quote-unquote, parallel of his. Uh, but this sold yesterday for $11.38, which is insane to me. But moving on. So we'll take a look at Kristaps Porzingis cards here. Here's another one, might I add. Uh, I probably have a million of those lying around. So I might go ahead and cash those out <laughs> on eBay if people are buying those things. Jesus, um, NBA Complete, as we all know, is kind of a eesh product. I guess that's the best way to describe it. So here we go. Christos Porzingis 2015-16 Rookie Prism sold yesterday for 66 bucks. Now it's just a regular rookie base, nothing special about it, uh, which goes to show you... Uh, uh, what people think about Christos Porzingis and the potential that he has. Now, even his regular Don Riss rated rookie, nothing special about it, sold for $9.50, which I'm sure, I'm, I'm pretty sure I have a few of those lying around myself too. So, also my cash out on that. Moving down here, his 1516 Panini Select, two of the cards went for 42 bucks, so we can average it out and say, uh, they're about 20 bucks a pop, give or take. So the hype is real around Kristaps Porzingis. It was real in New York, and now it's actually starting to become a real deal for sure now that he's in Dallas, teamed up with Luka Doncic. Now moving on to his second-year cards. I couldn't really find too many of the Donruss Optic cards that are sold. Uh, but I did find a sale three days ago on the 16th. The regular Donruss rated rookie, nothing special about it, sold for five bucks, which makes me happy because I bought uh, my optics for a dollar fifty. So that, that's really nice to see. And then we're gonna move on to the next section here, which I searched the 16-17. Uh, any prisms uh, for Christoph Porzingis and I believe they're kind of further down here and those are not expensive at all uh, if you can take a look down here um, a lot of three of them went for you know a dollar ten had one bit on it uh, that was back in June of, uh, of this year so a couple months ago a month ago two months ago which is probably about when I bought mine if I remember correctly. Um, last month, one sold for a dollar as well. Uh, also last month, one sold for a dollar. And that's, I think, about it. I, I didn't find any super recent ones. Uh, this was earlier this month. Uh, it was a buy it now, as you can see, for three ninety nine. but a best offer was accepted. So I'm going to guess probably two bucks or something like that so uh, the point being here is that his, um, his cards are his second year cards are still pretty cheap as but this one right here I did not see uh, this sold earlier this month a second year card sold for five bucks also makes me happy so uh, we're not seeing anything like too crazy here on the second year cards at all so uh, they're still affordable uh, so if you guys are into second-year cards or into kind of a little bit of a long-term investment, 
uh, then that's why I suggest getting the second year cards. Or if you're like a budget uh, buyer like myself, uh, and the regular rookie cards are clearly out of the out of the realm of reality, uh, then go for the second year cards. It takes a little bit longer for them to mature, uh, but with a guy like Kristaps Porzingis, like I said, he's only 25 years old, teamed up with Luka Doncic, and he's kind of here to stay. So. We're going to get out of the eBay here. Let me see if I can get us back to the regular view, and we'll do that right now. And we're back. So glad I got us back all the safety, and we're back out of the computer. So like I was saying and like I was explaining, Kristaps Porzingis, I, I, I'm not telling you anything you guys don't already know. The guy's a pure beast, teamed up with a future Hall of Famer in Luka Doncic. Super young team that they have, and I think that uh, we're going to see, I don't know if we're going to see a, a huge playoff run this year, but definitely in years to come, if they can stick together, maybe build, put some more pieces around Kristaps and Luka, just, just some little tweaks. I think that we're really going to be seeing them um, vying for a an NBA championship for sure. Now, as far as the second year cards go, uh, go go ahead and get you guys some. I mean, if you're a, a budget buyer like myself, and you know you don't you don't want to or you don't have twenty bucks to spend on a single card, a single rookie card of Kristaps, bring it on over to the, the second year cards. Uh, as you can see, they were they're steadily rising in value. Um, just back in June, they were, you know, a dollar and some change just for the regular, you know, Donruss optics. And one sold for, you know, five bucks earlier this month. <sighs> Which goes to show you how crazy this hobby is. Um, I mean, that's just one sample size, so we can't really take it, you know, and run with it. Uh, but it's definitely an idea of where things are right now in the hobby and where they can potentially go uh, if it stays on track like it is. So just just some just some food for thought, guys. Uh, you guys don't have to listen to me, obviously. Uh, and if you do have the the finances and you know the exp expendable in income. Uh, to purchase the you know the rookie cards by all means go ahead because in my opinion those are definitely gonna rise as well uh Christops is not even in his prime yet he's only 20, 25 years old so uh, we're gonna be seeing a lot more of him to come especially like I said if him and Luka Doncic can stick together uh it's it, there's no telling what those guys can do so that's all I got for today guys just a small little video here on uh, just a second year card Kristaps that I am currently hoarding as you guys can see and if you guys have anything else any other players you want me to talk about you can drop a comment or something always down to talk basketball in general so when you mix investing in basketball with me I tend to kind of rant so <laughs> I want to keep this video uh, to a minimum as far as the ranting goes but watch a game of Christoph Porzingis see how he does and let me know what you think as far as his future goes that's going to conclude this video though guys I appreciate you guys watching and like I said in the beginning enjoy the playoffs enjoy yourself some chronicles hopefully you guys get some big hits if your team's playing in the bubble good luck to them Chicago Bulls are my team, and we'll talk about them another time. <laughs> anyway, though, guys, I appreciate you guys watching. Follow me on Salute to Hoops. Uh, that's my Instagram. Same as same handle is on here. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.